All right, thank you, Fred. Well, right now, those state rebates are rolling out. It's $150 for an individual and $300 for a couple. Now, if you haven't gotten yours yet, it could come soon. Here today with some advice on how to get the most out of this extra cash is Beth Moody from the Welch Group. Thanks for being with us today. Happy to be here. So you've got four tips that will really help us sort of stretch this money and honestly could make a little bit of extra money for us. That's right. It's always nice to get an unexpected deposit in your account or a check in the mail. Um, so I've got a couple of tips of things you can do with it. All right. So the first one is using this money instead of racking up credit card debt. That's right. So this may seem simple, but just if you've got it there, use it and don't rack up credit card debt. Just as an example, if you were to put $300 on a credit card and pay only the minimum payments, let's assume that interest rate is 20%, uh, percent, you'd pay about $70 in additional interest. Um, just because you didn't pay cash for something up front. Okay, so you can avoid that extra money mm -hmm. by using it. So there it is. We've got the numbers there on your screen. Um, again, so using it instead of a credit card could really save you in the long run. That's right. All right, so then our next one, as we uh, pull up this graphic, you could uh, invest it for retirement. That's right. So this one's a little bit longer term, but let's assume you're 30, 30 years away from retirement and it grows at 8% a year, you'll have about $3,000 when you get to retirement. So just, you know, putting it away and saving it for the future. I love that. It's a good way to use this extra money that again was unexpected until we made, until we found out about it. So the third way we could use it is to invest for college. That's right. So um, college is just getting more and more expensive, yep. it seems. Um, so let's use that same 8% rate of return. If you invested the uh, $300 for 18 years, you'd have about $1,200 to go toward um, school costs. That could cover some books. It'll cover some books. <laughs> a little bit is better than nothing. So every little bit helps. That's true. All right, and then our last one, giving it to charity. That's right. So if you've already checked off the boxes of the first three, um, then another way is to give back. Again, if you weren't expecting this, then you know why not help other people? So you know, just assuming that you are in the 22% federal bracket, 5% Alabama, um, you could save about $80 in taxes just by giving this money to a cause of your choice. I love that. And you're helping out others. That's so. right. And it's very special this time of year to do that. So, Beth, we appreciate uh, you joining us with this advice. Again, I learned something about the different numbers and how much you could make or save. So we appreciate you being with us today. Absolutely.